The Congolese army on Thursday accused the M23 rebels and Rwanda of violating a humanitarian ceasefire announced by the United States. The two-week ceasefire, enforced since July 5th, aimed to allow humanitarian workers to access conflict zones in the North Kivu province. Les forces armées de la République démocratique du Congo. The armed forces of the Democratic Republic of Congo and its partners vigorously denounced the Kigali regime's failure to respect the truth and its legendary warmongering attitude of wanting to keep displaced populations in atrocious conditions, thus denying them access to humanitarian aid. In the Don Bosco camp for displaced persons, this ceasefire has been viewed differently. For some victims of the war, the truce is insufficient. This measure doesn't help us at all. It only sets us back. We'd like our soldiers to fight. Whether we win the war or fail, we'll find out later, because we just want to leave these camps. We are suffering a lot and we want to go home. The United States and Belgium have both welcomed the ceasefire. However, its breakdown has opened up debate on its efficacy. In Goma, opinions are mixed, with many residents voicing their despair that the truce was so easily broken. In view of the fact that the RDF M23 coalition has just sabotaged this truce recommended by the United States, it is necessary that consequent measures be taken against those who have violated this decision. We would have liked to see this respected on both sides to allow a humanitarian corridor. With only one week left of the ceasefire, the international community will be watching closely as the conflict evolves.